What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to another question. So this is a word problem. Rectangular pond is to be installed. It is estimated that 180 meters cubed of earth has to be dug out. What are the dimensions of the pool if the depth is two more than one third the width and the length is 11 more than three times the width? So the drawing would look something like this. We have a rectangular pool here. And how can we find expressions for the height, the width, and the length? <clears throat> well, notice that they say the depth, which is the same thing as the height, right, is two more than one third the width, and the length is 11 more than three times the width. So they're expressing the height and the length, both of them in terms of width. So it's probably a good idea to just label the width as W. Right? So the depth is two more than one third the width. So the height would be one third times W plus two. Then the length is gonna be 11 more than three times the width. So three times the width plus 11. Right? And now we have expressions for the height, the width, and the length, all in terms of one variable which is pretty good so far. So now, notice that it says in the question that 180 meters cubed of earth has to be dug out, meaning that the 180 meters cubed is gonna be the volume of the pool, right? And the volume is what? Length times width times height. So we know that 180 has to equal basically all of these expressions multiplied together. So let's actually put the W first just to make it look nicer. Then we'll have 3W plus 11, the length, and then the height will be one over three W plus two. And now what we have to do is we have to just expand that right side, bring the 180 over, and we'll have a polynomial equation. So the tricky part in this question is maybe that we're dealing with this fraction here. So 3w times 1 over 3w, 3 times 1 over 3 is just 1, and then w times w is just w squared. 3w times 2 gives us 6w. 11 times 1 over 3w, that would give us 11 over 3w. You don't want to use decimals here, right? Everything has to be pretty exact when we're uh, finding these dimensions. So you want to use fractions. And then 11 times 2, that would just give us 22. And then we still have 180 here on the left side. Now my suggestion is that we can take these two terms, 6w plus 11 over 3w, and add them up. So the 6w, we would have to get a common denominator, so this would be over 3, and then this 6 we would turn into 18. So 18w plus 11w, that gives us 29 over 3w plus 22. And that is 180. Then when we bring this w, uh, we distribute the w inside the bracket, we would have w cubed plus 29 over 3w squared plus 22w. And then let's bring this 180 over so it becomes minus 180. And we're just left with zero on the left side. And then at this point, my suggestion is to get rid of the denominator. So what you wanna do is you wanna multiply everything in the equation by the lowest common denominator. And notice that everything else is over one, right? So the lowest common denominator is three, so we would multiply everything in the polynomial equation, left side and right side, by three to get rid of that denominator. So what do we end up having? Three times zero is still zero. Uh, three times w cubed, that's three w cubed. And then the threes here cancel out, so we're just left with 29 w squared 3 times 22w, that gives us 66w, and then 3 times 180, or negative 180, is negative 540. And now what we have to do with this polynomial equation is we have to take that right side and factor it, right? So this is a cubic function. You always want to check, can you factor it by grouping? 
Grouping won't work, unfortunately, so we're going to have to use the factor theorem. So we're going to have to plug in W values 1, 2, 3. You don't have to worry about the negatives, right? You don't have to plug in negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 because the width can't be a negative number. So that really helps with these types of word problems when you're factoring these big polynomials. All you have to do is check the positive numbers, 1, 2, 3, etc. And actually, if you plug in a W value of 3, that would give you 0. So because W equals 3 works, then we know W minus 3 is a factor. So we can break down this cubic function here by dividing it by its factor w minus 3. And when you do that long division on the side here, you end up getting this quotient 3w squared plus 38w plus 180 should get a remainder of 0 as well. So continuing on with this, we took this cubic, broke it down into this divisor, w minus 3, and then this quotient here, 3w squared plus 180w or plus 38w rather, sorry, plus 180. Right, so now what we have to do is we're going to have to find potential solutions for this quadratic here. Because so far what we have is a solution of w equals 3 this here is not going to factor smoothly, so to get the solution for this quadratic when it equals zero, we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. So it'll be negative 38, right, negative b value, plus or minus b squared, which is 38 squared minus 4 times 3, the a value of 3, times the c value of 180, all over... Uh, 2 times a, which is 3. And when you do that, you'll actually get a negative in the square root. And when you get a negative in the square root, it means that that particular quadratic has no solutions. So this actually is not going to work. So there's not going to be any solutions for this quadratic to be 0. So the only solution in this case is w is equal to 3. Now we still have to take that w value of 3 and see if it actually works, making sure that the other sides are not going to be negative. And notice how they won't be, right? So the w will be 3 here. If we plug in 3 for w here, 1 third times 3 is 1, plus 2 gives us 3. And then if we plug in um, a w value of 3 here, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 11 gives us 20. Right? So the dimensions, what are they even asking? Yeah, they're asking for the dimensions of the pool. So the dimensions of the pool are 3 meters by 3 meters by 20 meters. Right? That's the only uh, solution to this problem. And if you actually take these, multiply them out, notice how you'll get 180 meters cubed, which is what we wanted initially anyway. So we can be fairly confident that uh, this solution is correct. So that's your final answer. The dimensions of the pool are 3 meters by 3 meters by 20 meters.